Hello everyone, Jack here. This week's episode of the Patrick Star Show centers around Squidina. Considering that we are in the fifth week of the show and have eight segments aired, it is certainly time for the producer of the Patrick Star Show to get the spotlight shown on her. But the surprising part of Squidina's little helper is that it focuses on Squidina being burnt out from doing the onerous day-in, day-out work of producing her brother's show. Yes, it is hard to manage a big pink doofus. You would think that this type of episode would air later on in the season, but we are given a pretty satisfactory explanation so far for how much this must take a toll on Squidina, considering that she's only 9 years old. Now being burnout is something very relatable for most adults and some teenagers unfortunately. It's simply something that is a nod to adults that watch the show with their children, as children really wouldn't understand what being burnt out is. And rightfully so, no child should feel burnt out. If you happen to have a problem with that opinion, I don't know what to tell you. Being burnt out is when you lose satisfaction from work and or something that gives you enjoyment so much that so you have significant trouble continuing to do it. You need a break from it in some form to clear your head. And for Squidina, waking up early to make sure that everything for the Patrick show is in order starts to take a toll on her. While Squidina is usually her plucky, exuberant self, the old grind starts to get to her as she has to make sure that Patrick is clean, well fed, and clothed every day by herself before the show starts. This is a lot of responsibility for a 9 year old, and adding that she has to produce an entire show just keeps the obligations piling. And unsurprisingly, Patrick is not an easy sea creature to manage, as he has trouble even remembering who stars in the Patrick show. You know, himself. The use of the title cards thoughtfully and creatively demonstrate how much of a grind managing the Patrick show is for her. The writers even have Squidina use the metaphor burning the candles at both ends to describe her situation. Basically, she's doing a lot of work, and it's tiring her out significantly. Just look at that 5 o'clock shadow if you have any doubt. Her solution to the problem is to get some hired help, and we get a visual gag with Patrick producing a pair of hands out of nowhere. I knew exactly where the gag was leading, as we see Cecil using the hands to go digging for gold because booger time is pretty much the only time we see starfish characters have digits. And if you look carefully at this scene, you will notice that they stuck Pearl into the applicant line. Don't ask me how old she is here, as she is obviously younger than Patrick and Spongebob and Spongebob Squarepants, but she's a whale, so even if she is as big as Patrick here, it doesn't mean anything because she's a giant compared to adult Patrick as a teenager. Various characters give their resumes to Squidina, and she hires a young crab named Fenton as he is younger and shorter than her, giving her the impression that she can boss him around. Fenton is an eager intern, and there are signs that something is amiss as he does almost too good of a job at being attentive and taking notes. It turns out that Fenton was only interested in the internship in order to steal all of Patrick's and Squidina's stuff to produce his own show with his big sister Crabina. Notice how Crabina sounds awfully similar to Squidina? Yes, we are already getting a shameless ripoff of the show and universe. Patrick wants to give up, but Grandpa gives him an inspirational slash senile speech about not giving up. And we get a hilarious scene where Ouchie sniffs Fenton's scent and drags Patrick through a meaningless route through the ground where Fenton is just next door. Then we get another hilarious scene where the family starts to destroy all the production equipment. You know, the stuff that they are going to reclaim. Yeah, the Star family is not collectively bright. Well, it turns out that Fenton is as devious as his Mickey Mouse pants suggest, and says that he has already made a deal with the network for six seasons. Yeah, there's definitely some Disney bashing here, and who can blame anyone for having that sentiment? All Disney does is take from the public domain and lobby to keep their IPs like Mickey Mouse out of it for a long, long time. And if that isn't greedy and manipulative, I don't know what is. Well, Patrick cheers Squidina up by setting the angry upstairs toilet on Benton and Crabina, ending the episode. Yeah, if you can't beat him, then flush him down the drain. So Squidina's little helper is surprisingly dense for an 11 minute episode of the Patrick Star Show. Don't get me wrong, there's an abundance of slapstick and tomfoolery abound, but there is also topics that go over kids' heads as well. It's an episode more for general audiences than for simply kids only. And that's okay. It's good when the Patrick Star Show can appeal to more than just kids because it's going to have to appeal to at least some of the adult demographic that grew up with Spongebob Squarepants to be successful. And for an adult that grew up with Spongebob Squarepants as a child, I did enjoy this episode. It wasn't something that was laugh out loud funny, but it held my attention throughout the run of the show. The concept of Squidina being burnt out from making the Patrick Show is interesting and explored well in the episode, and it is definitely taken to wild and wacky places here. So go check this one out. Maybe you'll get some newfound inspiration out of it. Being burnt out is unfortunately a cyclical part of life. There are times when things don't produce as much joy as they did before, or mindless drudgery becomes too much to take anymore. Hopefully it's something that you don't have to deal with that often. And if you happen to find yourself in one of those situations like Squidina is here, just take it day by day and do the best you can to break out of that rut. 
This is Jack wishing you a startastic day. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.